All right, guys, we're back with Oh Bug. I just want to show you guys. This is just a marshmallow soft temperament is what this is. Hang on, let me just put you guys. It's, it's just a marshmallow temperament. It's, it's honestly unbelievable. Now, a child could put this dog in here and wheel him around. It's an incredibly marshmallow temperament. And you do want to reinforce that. so that you're saying, I like it when you're a marshmallow. If you said, what would the opposite of that be? The tug of war and stuff. Hi, careful, Bob. Careful, Bob. I got you, Bob. I got you. I got you, Bob. Careful, what people want. I just want one I can just hug. I just want to love. I want to give you kisses. I want to just hug it all day. <laughs> I want to just hug it all day. Oh, God. Oh, God. So that's, again, I'm not going to add any physical postscript to this. Well, let me set you down. So he said, what kind of dog does this make? A good child's pet. I'll tell you that right now. A good child's pet. A good replacement for your college-aged child. This kid, this one's not going to be ungrateful. She's not, she's not, uh, hi, Mona. Hi, Crezzo. Crezzo, I'm going to name one of the puppies Crezzo from the next litter. I love that name. Crezzo. Just, it just sounds like a Brazilian dog trainer. And Chris was like, yay. Uh, but that's what you guys can see. This puppy is a big marshmallow, And you wouldn't want to do anything not to augment that. It's already that way. It's posturing submissive behavior all the time anyway. You know, but if you said, how are you handling it? With kid gloves. With kid gloves. You know, when I'm picking them up, I'm very specific about, you know, how I'm holding the body and all these different things. She knows his mommy's going to pick them up. All right, let me get your head. Oh, she's just like a baby. She's just like a baby. All right, let's put you in here now. Get your I'm sure here's what I need to do, Mike. Get a baby bottle. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll put it in a little thing and start giving it. So, and I do. It's it's got it's got a soundtrack. And if you said, what's the soundtrack, uh, can you write it down for me? Yeah, it's called, Oh, Bug. <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of adding that to the behavior so I could maybe at some point, you know, you're going to elicit that behavior. And if somebody comes and you say, oh, what do you say? I say, Oh, Bug. Oh, Bug. Time to fall, Bug. So that's what you want to do, and you're not, <laughs> I don't touch them at all. I don't do the handshake. I don't do the, I don't touch their paws, definitely. I don't touch their head. I don't touch their paws as, as any part of training. But you can. I mean, I, I do the very gentle. Oh, bug. Time for your massage, bug. Your massage. It's not that you don't want to touch them and you don't want to pet it. If you said, what is this dog equating this to? Ritualistic grooming, you know, like the mother. If you really want to make them think you're doing ritualistic grooming, kind of do this on them. You know, 
just, she just says it's grooming me. A bug. So you're just kind of saying, you know, I like that behavior. I know you guys, I just had to show you that. But it's a very, they're that personality anyway. Uh, oh, Yvette, why does that seem strange? It's, there's, these puppies are like that anyway. Honestly, and when I see the first little sign of that behavior, I, I start reinforcing it. I don't let it go away. If I see, if I, if I can see, if I can see a, a grasp of anything, just think of it. If there's just a tiny thread that you can pull on, start pulling it. You know, and this one is particularly soft temperament. And if that's what it thinks I like, if you said, "What are you training this for?" Oh, for someone to be someone's love bug. To be someone's love bug. So I'm giving her the food. Oh, she's almost going to default to the down. But I can just, it's time to fall now, Bob. It's time to fall. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, Bob. That's kind of like, kind of what kids would do or something. Real sweet kids. Time to fall, Bob. You've got to fall. You're a beanbag. Oh, that's what I should say. You're a beanbag, Bob. Bob, you're a beanbag. Be a beanbag, Bob. Be a beanbag. They do. These, these do like to get picked up. Molly would just stop. You see, I, that's what I mean about Molly. She's looking with her big... She can't see anything, and there's nothing there. Now it's time to fall, Bob. It's time to fall. It's time to fall, Bob. Bob, be careful. Be careful, Bob. Be careful. And when you're talking to him this way, honestly... And I know you know what I'm talking about, Mike. You're, you're talking, you're broadcasting from the inside, not that way. No, it's time to fall, Bug. And I probably got my down. If you said, what did that get you? Probably my down. But it's time to fall, Bug. It's time to fall. I've got you, Bug. I've got you, Bug. I've got you. I've got you, Bug. Oh, Bug. Oh, <laughs> Bug. So, you know, if you said, well, it trusts you. Oh, Bug. I'm not going to be able to look, but that's pretty relaxed. Uh -oh, <laughs> be careful, Bug. Be careful. Kid gloves. If you said, what did you do before you got them? Kid gloves. That's what you've got to think of. I don't rough around the neck or anything like that. You know, these dogs are very, very gentle souls. If you said any dog could attack. Not these. If you're counting on that. If somebody said, I don't give a damn what you say. I'll spend. I, I have an a bottomless pit of a wallet. I'll spend whatever it takes to have this dog attack train just to show you. I'd say good luck with that. Good luck with that one. 